text that we are to pray for those that persecute us, right? Amen? Come on. We're to pray for those that persecute us, right? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, are you praying for those that are persecuting you? Are you praying for those that hate you? Are you blessing those? Are you blessing those that are causing harm, that wish you would just stop and get out of the way, those that don't have any good word to say about you? Are you blessing them? Are you praying for them? Because that's what our job is to do. And when we do so, we align ourselves with the heart of God. Joseph had a choice. Don't give me this was, he was supernatural, that he just couldn't have done any other thing. He had a choice to make. We have a choice to make, to love our enemies, to pray for our enemies, right? And so here, this man, he had power now. Joseph had power. But look at what he didn't just say, I forgive you. He wept, wept. He cried. He lamented over the very ones that robbed him of years. How many of you have been robbed of years? How many of you, your betrayer still stands in your life? How many of you are weeping over that individual with the heart of God? That's the goal. That's the goal. Ask the Lord. Father, give me a spirit that would cry out for the one that caused me so much pain. Hey, that's what the word tells us to do. This is what Joseph, this is what Joseph did. This is what Jesus did. This is what Stephen did. Come on, this is all throughout the Bible. And then when we go to verse 18, then his brothers also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are your servants. Come on, the dream is being fulfilled before his very eyes. His brothers, what did they do? What did they do? They bowed down. It says, then his brothers also went down and fell before his face. And they said, they said, behold, what did they do? Behold, we are your servants. What was the posture? What was Joseph's dream? What was Joseph's dream? When the wheat was going to bow down and they, he was criticized and ridiculed for the very dream that God had given him. But now the dream has been fulfilled, and Joseph's not sitting there going, yes, I'm so glad. He's weeping over the very ones that caused him so much pain. Talk about the heart of God. Talk about the heart of God for us, for us. And this is the heart that we're to have for others. Verse 19, Joseph said to them, and I love this because this is what God says to us. We don't get what we deserve. Thank God. Say, thank God. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm so glad that we serve a merciful, gracious God. But look at verse 19. Then Joseph said to them, do not be afraid. Why? Because they had every, every right and every reason, actually, had every reason to be afraid. Come on, he was second in command. He said, do not be afraid, for am I in the place of God? He knew that everything he had belonged to God. He said, am I in the place of God? Joseph, you're second in command. Whatever you say is going to go. Am I in the place of God? When God moves you, when God promotes you, when God puts you before people that were your enemies, when God puts you before Pharaoh, when God puts you before those that you would now have power to actually be cruel or to get them out of the way, what will you do with power? God's only going to trust you if he knows you're going to do the right thing. 